Hello. Today I have here my supercharger vein pump setup. I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to assemble the updated version. This one here has larger ports, better smoothing on the ports in an attempt to make it a little bit quieter. On the rotor I've changed the apex of the seal so it's off center should cause less friction and to increase the pressure holding I put a little hole here that leads of course this isn't coming down. inside there which you can't really see to push the blades up or the veins up against the outside of the housing The original version of the pump has a smaller set of ports on the inlet and the outlet compared to this one, which seems to contribute to noise. I had also stiffened up the webbing, put my logo in, and kind of just stiffened the whole thing up top to bottom. I also added heat set nuts to increase the longevity and sealing. Before I put this one together, I'll show you the pressure tests I did on this one before and after the 10 minute test. So this is the first test, uh, 125 watt motor, 24 volts, it spins around 3500 RPM. So at this point I started the 10 minute test and right off the bat running it for about 30, 40 seconds it started to sound like she was struggling. So I start feeding mineral oil in it to keep the blades in the view. I did however grease them during assembly. At this point here it starts to smoothen out and picks up some RPM. I think the gaskets were a little bit smaller on the inside diameter than the housing so the veins were rubbing up against the gaskets until they wore down. Being TPU they wore down fairly quickly. I used this piece of paper to keep the oil that was being pumped out of the supercharger off my tablet as well as play around and see how well it would stick to the inlet. So I managed to find my more accurate gauge and after the 10 minute run I managed just under 2 pounds. Alright, so now I'm going to throw this one together. I've already installed the bearing and seal on this end. I'm going to start by greasing the seal. Kind of helps with sealing. I'm just using Vaseline. Considering this thing's in my house, I don't want to use anything that's going to off gas anything. And there's the cap of this guy and the shaft. Now I'm gonna line all this up. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take this outside and press it together. Alright, so I'm back from outside, pushed the shaft in, got the keyway lined up or the flat lined up. Now, here you go to set screw.
Okay, that's tight. Now all of these veins have been matched. I lap them down until they just slide in nicely. And I grease them up. Now, this just goes in here. Okay. And you can see the offset there. Now, I had to make a thicker gasket than the originals this being the original I don't know if you can see it on camera it's about half a mil thicker to compensate for me facing the ends down so line this guy up Taking his own. Yeah, so work it there. Now, put these longer screws. Yeah, that'll get in there. I know what the greasy fingers can't get the screws in. Now going with the heat set nut is uh, definitely makes life a lot easier. One day I could get better Allen keys and make life easier too.
Okay, why doesn't that one want to line up? Probably gonna loosen some of these off. Of course, they say the heat set nuts make life easier. And I give you an example of them not making life easier. Well, anyways, get around and tighten them all. I'm going to solve that other issue with a tap later. We're going to tap through it. And I think some plastic got into the threads and it doesn't want to start. Well, other than that one screw, there you have it. Pretty simple to build, decently easy to print, and makes actual boost. So I'm pretty happy with this. This one should run a little bit more efficiently, cooler, and quieter. And I'm likely not gonna end up testing this one until I get it on an engine because, well, this setup here just doesn't quite have the power I was hoping for. Well, that's it. Hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll be back with more.